Rinderpest, also known as cattle plague, is a highly contagious viral disease that affects cloven-hoofed animals, especially cattle. The first known outbreaks of Rinderpest date back to the Roman Empire. The disease is believed to have originated in Asia, spreading to Europe through various invasions and movements of armies, notably with the invasion of the Huns in the 4th century and later with the Mongol invasion in the 13th century. However, the earliest detailed records of Rinderpest outbreaks are from the 18th century, when the disease had a significant impact on European agriculture. The widespread and devastating effects of Rinderpest in the 18th century, particularly in France and Italy, led to increased scientific interest and the eventual development of measures to control and eradicate the disease. Rinderpest infection typically follows a pattern of transmission and disease progression that involves several key routes and mechanisms. The primary means of Rinderpest spread is through direct contact between infected and susceptible animals. Infected animals shed high concentrations of the virus in their excretions and secretions, such as saliva, nasal discharge, and tears, which can be easily transmitted to other animals in close proximity. Another significant mode of transmission is through aerosols. Infected animals can expel fine particles laden with the virus when they exhale, which can then be inhaled by nearby susceptible animals. This form of transmission is particularly effective in confined spaces where animals are closely housed together. The Rinderpest virus can also be carried on inanimate objects, known as fomites. These can include farming equipment, feeding and watering tools, and even the clothing and shoes of individuals who interact with the animals. The virus from an infected animal can adhere to these objects and then be passed on to other animals that come into contact with them. Transmission through contaminated feed and water is less common but possible. If these resources are contaminated with discharges from infected animals, they can become a source of infection for other animals consuming them. There are instances where the virus may be transmitted from a pregnant female to her fetus, though this is not considered a major transmission route. After entering a susceptible host, the Rinderpest virus predominantly affects the lymphoid, gastrointestinal, and respiratory systems. Infected animals typically exhibit symptoms like high fever, nasal and ocular discharges, diarrhea, and necrosis of lymphoid tissues. The disease's severity can vary, often leading to high mortality rates in affected populations. Rinderpest, commonly known as cattle plague, was a highly contagious and devastating disease affecting cattle and other cloven-hoofed animals. The symptoms of Rinderpest were severe and distinct, often leading to high mortality rates in affected herds. The disease typically began with a sudden, high fever, which was one of the first indicators of infection. Infected animals frequently developed thick nasal discharges along with tearing or inflammation of the eyes. Additionally, painful sores and erosions would often appear in the mouth, including on the gums, tongue, and lips, making it difficult for the animal to eat. Severe diarrhea, often containing blood or mucus and with a foul smell, was a hallmark of Rinderpest, contributing to rapid dehydration and weight loss. The animals also exhibited signs of lethargy and depression, showing a lack of interest in their surroundings and a significant decrease in appetite. Inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract was common, leading to abdominal pain and further complicating the animal's ability to feed and maintain health. Another characteristic symptom was the enlargement of lymph nodes, a response of the immune system to the viral infection. In some cases, the disease could also cause respiratory issues, including difficulty in breathing and coughing. The combination of these symptoms, particularly the severe diarrhea and oral lesions, contributed to the high mortality rates associated with Rinderpest. The eradication of this disease in 2011 stands as a monumental achievement in the field of veterinary medicine, highlighting the effectiveness of global cooperation in disease control and prevention efforts. The treatment of Rinderpest, before its eradication in 2011, focused on prevention, control, and supportive care, as there was no specific cure for the viral disease. Key strategies in managing Rinderpest included the following. The cornerstone of Rinderpest control was vaccination. Effective vaccines played a pivotal role in the global effort to eradicate the disease. Regular vaccination campaigns, especially in regions where Rinderpest was endemic, helped to build herd immunity and prevent outbreaks. Containing the spread of Rinderpest was crucial, 
and this was achieved through quarantine measures and strict control of animal movements. Areas with reported infections were isolated to prevent the virus from spreading to other regions. In some situations, the culling of infected and exposed animals was necessary. This drastic measure was taken to control the spread of the virus during outbreaks. Supportive care for infected animals was important for alleviating symptoms and preventing secondary infections. This care included maintaining hydration, providing nutritional support, and administering antibiotics to treat secondary bacterial infections. Continuous surveillance and immediate reporting of any suspected cases of rinderpest were essential for early detection and response. This helped in quickly implementing control measures to contain potential outbreaks. Farms and areas at risk of rinderpest implemented strict biosecurity protocols. These measures, such as disinfection, controlling access to livestock, and maintaining sanitary conditions, were vital in preventing the introduction and spread of the virus. The eradication of rinderpest was a result of extensive international cooperation. Collaborative efforts between governments, international organizations, and various stakeholders in the livestock industry were key to the successful elimination of this disease. Through these collective efforts, rinderpest became the second disease, after smallpox, to be globally eradicated, highlighting the effectiveness of coordinated disease management and prevention strategies.